Welcome to the Surly Bridge Club bike check video. This bike was assembled in my living room and now we're out here in my side yard to take a closer look. Let's start at the top looking at the grips. Supposedly these are made by Velo, although I don't see any markings on them. They are lock-on grips and what you can see here is the weak state of the end caps here. I mean these are really just tiny leaning against the wall basically is gonna split it like that the pattern is kind of this knurling almost like you see on a weightlifting bar it, it there's not a ton of padding there I mean it's the, essentially the, the only padding you get is the uh, compression of the little knurls that's it nothing beyond that and I will say you could see the the lock-on ring here and then the radius of the bar is actually it drops right so it's very very skinny I'm usually a fan of skinny grips but this one is beyond skinny it's it's really tiny so not terribly excited about these grips I wish they were more padding and a little bit thicker kind of similar situation with the Tektro brakes these are hydraulics no adjustment very basic unit and very weak no feel um, they take 160 mil rotors front and back but the action of them leaves a lot to be desired I have BB7 mechanical brakes on my disc trucker and I would say those probably outperform these guys next on to the shifters these are Dior shifters or I should say shifter because there's only one there is no front derailleur it's just the shifter for the rear derailleur here what's really cool about these shifters that Shimano makes is that this lever that's at the back it's not just a push with your thumb so it's not a push push you could actually push that guy or you could pull it like a trigger It's very convenient when you're riding because as you're gripping the bar you could just slip a finger over that and go ahead and give it a yank it's very cool moving on to the bars these are surly terminal bars you can see there's this uh, raw metal finish which I kind of like I dig it it's the lipstick color is the only one that uh, has this finishing kit with the raw metal bars, stem, spacers, and seat posts. The rest of the bike is blacked out, as you would expect a modern bike to be, but it's got this classic touch up top. The bars have this type of bend with them, and they're very wide, you could see. So it's nice, it's nice that they give you the option to cut these down if you prefer a narrower bar. I'm just cruising around the neighborhood following my daughter so far, so I can't comment too much on the pluses or minuses of these bars in say an off-road situation or rough payment situation. Around the block, they're, they're perfect, there's, there's nothing to complain about. There's a slight rise to them, so you do have the option of flipping them if you want them to drop down. And um, same with the stem, it's right now has a rise on it. and you can flip it to get a little bit more of an aggressive ride, although that's not the purpose really of this bike. You could see that it looks like Surly leaves you with four 10 mil spacers on the steer tube. So I think they do cut the steer down because I'm a disc trucker and I built myself. I have much more steer tube exposed. The headset is a nice Cane Creek 40. I have 7,500 miles on the disc trucker with this headset with zero maintenance and it's performed flawlessly. So solid unit, nothing fancy, but definitely gets the job done. This fork is a unit crown affair here. And there's these bosses for Surly racks up here. There's a boss right there. And then you have 
three more down the side one more at the bottom so plenty of stuff to clip onto that you may want here's how much space you have to clear this 41 cm tire this is the 700 by 41 extraterrestrial it's a tread pattern for you 60 TPI tire made in China takes a max pressure of 60 psi it's a quick release system here with a six bolt rotor 160 millimeter rotor single pot brake caliper from Tektro the hubs are I think kind of parts bin affair they're made by Novatech 32 hole can't comment on these really either uh, no experience as far as longevity servicing them or anything else so just uh, like I said the parts bend deal and it is what it is the rims are these WTB STI 21s and they have a inner rim width of 21 millimeters you can run these tubeless but they're not set up tubeless from Sterling. Gotta have the reflectors, man. Already mentioned the stem briefly, but it is a 31.8 millimeter affair from Promax. Again, kind of parts bin stuff, nothing fancy. Same with the top cap unmarked, which is good by me. The less logos, the better. Surly puts enough stickers on their bikes, don't they? Got the medium sticker, the bridge club sticker, the surly sticker. This guy right here. Fatties fit fine. So we know it's Natch. Ton of stickers all over this guy. Here's the welds and some of the gusseting and support of the frame. Looks pretty neat. As you would expect from a bike made in Taiwan. They do a nice job. You can see some of the welds are smooth around the bottom bra bracket area. And that's about the only place the other welds look pretty raw. This is a medium sized frame. I'm 5'9 with a 29 and a half inch inseam and this frame is too big for me I should have bought a small if you guys want to trade frames or buy this bike let me know Got a nice black seat post clamp here not quick release it's got the allen key with a 9 newton meter specification seat post is a two bolt affair and it's just raw metal all the way up again I think it looks good this color combination was very on the fence about it initially but I'm digging it it's classic seats a WTB volt 142 I like that it's very smooth there's not um, any kind of texturing it's just a nice smooth seat so I like that comfort is very personal so I can't really comment on that and I haven't ridden this bike for long enough to tell you whether or not it works for me I'll come back talk about uh, the rear derailleur this is a Dior unit it's got a clutch which is nice and that's what you would expect from a one by system otherwise this chain would just rattle to death and you could see even just me riding around the neighborhood this chains made contact with this chain stay right here it's a 10 speed shimano system here with a 11 by 42 cassette yeah, so it's a good gear range The cranks are FSA Alpha Drive units. 
the square taper FSA bottom bracket very very basic unit uh, my pedals are these Nash bar guys for now dual sided and I mentioned in my other video that I have 7,500 miles on this set of pedals on my disc trucker and they perform flawlessly with no maintenance. So they're heavy, they're cheap, but they work. Front ring is a 34 tooth. And you could see more of the bosses on the frame here. Three on the down tube two more on the seat tube there's a setup to run up front derailleur if you want but I hate those things so don't do it the rear wheel is also a quick release unit with Surly's odd spacing here this is a 41 millimeter boost so if you wanted to build a wheel yourself you would get a 48 boost hub and just get the end caps for quick release for that and that would set you up for 41 boost odd system don't know why they went with it but it is what it is it can take standard 135 spacing if you're in a pinch here's the rear situation we have fenders racks and same in the back in the frame here. I like these dropouts, it's kind of nice. There's more fenders. And I like the fact that in the complete bike, Surly gives you all the bolts. When I ordered my frame for the disc trucker, I frame was just missing all these bolts. So I had to source them separately to plug all the holes. Kind of weird. That they would do that to you but they did all right as far as riding experience again i've just been cruising around the neighborhood rides very smooth it's stiff it accelerates a bit faster than what i expected but it's definitely no road bike right it's a lot of mass on those wheels to get moving so definitely have to stomp on those pedals to get going but it does get going which is nice there's the occasional um, kind of chain almost slip right where there's a misalignment with one of the teeth it feels like it may be in the front and it just you got that smashing sound when it lands on the tooth very occasionally and that might be just from the flex of the frame when I'm stomping on it more of those bosses under the frame three more to be exact All right, guys, I think this video is long enough. If you have any specific questions, leave them down below. If you want me to deep dive into anything, let me know. I'm happy to talk through more of this bike. I like it. I just wish it was smaller. I don't know why Surly sizes their bike so big. They did the same thing to me on the disc trucker. I typically ride a 54 or 52 on the road bike and I think I had to get either a 50 or 48 on the Surly. It's very strange. They do things on their own I guess and I should have known when I ordered this one didn't have an opportunity to test drive and it ended up being too big for me which is unfortunate. So, Alright guys thanks for watching please hit that like and subscribe button hoping to grow this channel and let me know in the comments what else you'd like to hear about, learn about, see you with this bike. All right, see you next time.